There's a big change in immigration policy at the Nogales Port of Entry to start this new year. It has to do with the controversial migrant protection protocols or remain in Mexico policy. News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink joins us live in studio with all the details. Eric. Good evening, John. This policy change means that when Border Patrol and CBP picks up asylum seekers along the border, they will return them to the Sonora side as they wait their court hearings here in the U.S. Before the Department of Homeland Security extended migrant protection protocols to Nogales, migrants picked up at the Tucson sector would have to be bused to El Paso and then returned to Mexico. DHS says this move will quicken the asylum process for those seeking a chance to come to the United States. But Santa Cruz County Sheriff Tony Estrada, who's lived along this stretch of the border for more than 70 years, is skeptical. They're going to have to be settling in Nogales, Mexico, possibly, for an extended period of time. Let them remain and, and let them have their cases. Expedite them. Get all the judges you need. I think that that's the way to handle this immigration phenomena. You, you have to have uh, a quick approach. Katie Sherrar is the communications director for the Kino Border Initiative, a group that works on both sides and opposes the Remain in Mexico policy. She argues it puts asylum seekers in more danger, and she fears Nogales lacks the resources to deal with the influx. There's just not enough space in Nogales to house the increasing numbers of people who will be returned. We called DHS in hopes of getting a comment, but they didn't get back to us in time for air. Now, Nogales is the seventh port along the southern border included in this MPP program. Live tonight, I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.